This is a demonstration of Mail Project 3 for CS50 Web. For the first requirement, if you press Compose, you can enter recipients. Let's enter test at example.com. Subject, I'll make this hello world. And in the body, I'll put this is a test email. When you press send, you're redirected to your sent mailbox. You get a notification at the top, email sent successfully. And as you can see, here's the email. Now if I log into test.example.com, you'll see that I have one unread email in my inbox, hello world. When a user clicks on an email, they're taken to a view where they see the content of that email. You see the subject line, the recipient, the sender, the timestamp, and the body of the email. If I go back to my inbox now, as you can see, the background of the email is now gray. Once I pressed on it, it was marked as red. When viewing an email, there is a button that allows the user to archive the email. So if I press archive now, get a message at the top, successfully archived. And if I go to my archived mailbox, you can see that the email is now in this mailbox. Unarchiving an email works the exact same way. You just go to your archive mailbox and press unarchive. And as you can see, you get a message successfully unarchived and the email is now back in your inbox. In order to reply to an email, you just open it up, press reply, and you get redirected to the composition form and the recipients field is pre-filled and so is the subject field. And in the body field, you get a quote timestamp and the previous sender of the email. Press send and as you can see email sent successfully. I get redirected to my send mailbox and I sent a reply to that email. So that's all for mail project three of CS50 web.